I'm Keith Palumbo and today I want to show you how easy it is to measure your light pole for pole tector. When measuring your light pole for pole tector, it's as simple as measuring your light pole and the cement base that it's attached to. Starting with the light pole, you have two shapes, a round or a square like this. Round obviously you'll measure the circumference around. For a square, this is five inch by five inch. Cement bases come in four shapes. Most common round like this, which will measure the circumference. All right, roughly 77, 78 inches. Next, you'll want to measure a quick height. You measure from the ground to just above the anchor bolt cover. We're at about 36, 37 inches or so. The nice thing about pole tectors, they're all 40 inches tall, giving your parking lot a nice uniform look. Second type is a square. For instance, 18 inch by 18 inch. A pyramid style, which is wider at the bottom and tapers off. It's important to measure the lowest or the widest point of that style bases. And lastly, you have a light pole that goes directly into the ground with little or no base whatsoever. We've put together a sample pole tector to give you an overall feel of the product and demonstrate a couple of the key features. First of all, height. You'll notice a pole tector is 40 inches in height, which allows us to give your parking lot a uniform look. Even if your bases are shorter, than 38 inches or even vary within the same parking lot. Secondly, visibility. Customers are more likely to see this product and not hit your light poles. And lastly, if you choose to add logos, the height allows you to maximize the visibility of your branding. Pole tectors are one size fits all and wrap around all shapes of cement bases. Keep that in mind when measuring. You only need to measure your tallest base. 25 and a half inch inside diameter and an 80 inch circumference. We use your measurements to determine what thickness of foam we use. The foam actually wraps around the cement base and the plastic of the pole tector itself, giving impact resistance and keeping the pole tector snug. This is especially helpful when you have cement bases that are shorter, where you have some air between the cement base and the top of the pole tector. If you have a light pole that goes directly into the ground with no base, we supply three corrugated discs. We cut them to your specifications of your light pole. They wrap around slide down and rest on the ledges inside your pole tector. And there you have it. We look forward to covering all your bases.